I'm Jim Terrell from Quickblade here at Surf Expo, and uh, today we're showing uh, our newest uh, shaft design. It's an oval tapered design shaft. Uh, the diameter down at the bottom is our standard uh, diameter shaft, um, but it blends into a sort of an ovalized uh, cross section up into a very small diameter, about three quarter inch right here. The unique thing about this design is the shaft goes all the way into the top of the handle, so it makes it super strong. Uh, we haven't had any uh, handle failures or anything like that. It comes right now with a standard ergonomic palm grip that's slightly different from our previous design. Um, it's got a nice feel. We're going to offer this at uh, EVA. 2013 EVA wrap uh, handles as well. Um, the nice feature about this is uh, typically paddles are sold at full length and you cut them the size of the handle on. These are going to be uh, sent to the shops with the blades unattached and you cut from the, the bottom end of the shaft. And uh, the reason for that is um, it puts your hand, um, because of the taper, if you're a shorter person, you generally have uh, smaller hands. So where you hold the paddle, it's going to be a, a smaller circumference. And as you're a bigger, taller person with bigger hands, the uh, shaft circumference is more proportionate to your body size. And uh, the other unique thing about this uh, design option is that uh, we, we offer different stiffnesses of shafts that are mated with the size of the blades. So our smaller blades come with a stiffer shaft, uh, or a softer shaft, the bigger blades come with a stiffer shaft. And with the oval tapered shaft, uh, by cutting from the big end, the shorter you cut the length of the shaft, the average stiffness actually goes down uh, because the, the smaller section is where you get the majority of the flex. Um, so uh, we're pretty happy about this. This is the paddle I'm racing with now. We've got a few of our team riders using this one. Last year we had an oval tapered design that was a little larger at the bottom for bigger guys, and this one's a little bit more suited for average sized people and, and smaller. And uh, the good thing about this, uh, this design too is the overall weight of our Elite Racer now is coming in under 16 ounces. It's coming in at about 15 ounces for a 78 inch paddle in the Elite Race uh, model. Uh, this particular one is the Magic. It has the, uh, the nipple technology on the, on the power face, which is preferred by some of our team riders, uh, particularly like the bigger guys that are more strong, a little stronger and more powerful. They, they feel the, uh, the difference of the... What exactly does it do? You know, it's interesting, people ask me all the time, <laughs> the dimple technology, and this was actually something I experimented with and tested, and it, the design is, is when the, this wouldn't work on the surface of a board, it would make it a much slower. But there's a lot of um, pressure on the blade, and there's a lot of velocity, uh, speed on the blade that goes in. And um, without getting into too much detail, it, it was designed to be more efficient with the blade surface. Uh, only it works on the power face, you put on this side, it makes it much worse, it doesn't work. But uh, with pressure and speed on the blade, it makes for a, a more efficient catch. But I don't know if it's the placebo effect or what, but some people seem to think that the, the Magic paddle holds the water better, it makes it feel like a bigger blade. And I don't have any data to back that up, but it's a, it's a feeling that some of my team riders have where they were actually able to go to a smaller blade. They feel like they get just as much power as their larger blade with the dimple technology. Um, but um, that's yet to be proven, and it's, it's, a, it's a very subtle thing. You know, I use the Elite and the Magic, and I switch back and forth. Um, one thing with the Magic, we're not able to get them quite as light as the Elite Blades just because of the texture and the technology. But, but it's pretty unique, a lot of people like it, and it, it seems to work for some guys, so, um, so we're still making them, we make a lot of them. So your new shafts, um, when are they going to be in the stores and how much are they going to be? Um, there, uh, a couple shops uh, have, have, have gotten a handful of these and they, they've kind of just threw word of mouth from my team riders, but uh, these are in production now, I've got limited tooling, but uh, they're available uh, starting uh, in a week or two from, from after the show here. We're going to get them on our website hopefully and uh, dealers will be able to log in and, and place the orders for us. If you're a select dealer that can get our uh, high-end race battles. Uh, all right, thanks, Jen. Yeah. All right. Thank uh -huh. you. So, Tali, you, you used uh, a small blade in the Moke race this year, yeah? Yeah. Tell, tell us about that. Why did you choose a? Uh, um, it's, yeah, it's really funny. Everyone was kind of laughing at me that I was using this small blade, and they're like, what are you doing? Like, why are you using that? Sure. I'm like, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I've been training with it all season, and I really like it. It gives me really smooth strokes, and um, I feel like I can get into the bumps quicker. And it's such a light paddle. I mean, and has a thinner shaft too, right? Yeah, it's it just was way more comfortable for me to use, and um, it paid off. I was out there, and I never like I usually get really sore, um, short, like I have kind of 
a shoulder issue at the beginning of the season and I was using a bigger blade and then I switched to this one and it was like huge difference, huge difference and I never got, I never had that problem the whole time with your Molokai and what handle did you use? Um, what kind of handle? The PVA? Yeah, I had this handle. PVA foam handle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously it must have worked well for you because yeah. you, you did really well, huh? <laughs> it All worked right. great, so I cool. picked them wrong. Flyweight. The Flyweight's been a popular seller this year and um, it was so popular that we're going to offer this and then elite construction as well. A uh, slightly different layup of the blade to get another ounce or two out of the way and a pre-preg tube with the textured surface, same textured surface that we offer on our standard lead race paddle. And uh, these we've already built some and uh, they're going to be available to start shipping out by uh, probably November 1st. And, um, I think they're going to be pretty popular. Every time I put one in somebody's hand, they go, wow. So flyweight elite racer. Flyweight elite. And so, it's going to be the elite flyweight, and it's uh, 13 ounces. So the one used in the races, it was just the regular so used the standard, uh, pol yeah. um, standard carbon, carbon all one. Carbon, yeah. So yeah. We make this in an all fiberglass, too, which is popular for kids right. and, um, and uh, women that are touring. But for, for racing, the all carbon uh, flyweight is more popular configuration. Yeah. All right. So hopefully we'll have them at Blue Planet soon. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so what else do you have that's new? So yeah, so the uh, the new flyweight with the smaller diameter shaft was such a popular model for us this year. Uh, but I had some bigger people uh, that liked the, the small diameter shaft, but they asked if we could make it with the, the bigger blade, the 90 squirts blade. So we then came out with the Superfly. And the Superfly is available in carbon fiber or fiberglass. This particular one is a fiberglass blade. But it's a 92 scrunch blade, almost identical template to the Kanaha 90. Um, just a slightly slender shoulder and a little bit more in the corners here for a race. And, um, and this has a 35 spitter shaft. So um, that's, um, I think people that are a little bit more power, a little bit stronger, that want that slightly bigger blade than the standard flyweight, but still prefer the small shaft. I got a lot Hi, my name is Bailey Rosen. I'm a sub racer from St. Petersburg, Florida, and I love my quick blade flyweight. It's got the perfect size blade for me. It's super light. The carbon fiber has always worked really well for me, and I wouldn't use anything else in a race. I love the shape. I love everything about it. All right. What kind of what kind of races have you done with this paddle? I've done river races. I actually went to Ohio with Jimmy a couple months ago. I go on the Gulf a lot. I'm actually racing in the Atlantic tomorrow. And be a battle of the paddles. So I've gone all over the place with my complaint. It's just great. All right. Thanks, Bailey. Thank you. Yeah.